Vamos a empezar. Un party ale. Vamos a empezar. Un party ale. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. For those of you who do not know, I am Miranda Marie. For those of you who do know, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So, listen, today's been a day. Actually, these last few days have been... Okay, so for those of you who do not know, I have been doing travel assignment vlogs for a new position that I currently take, which requires me to travel. Um, I am in the healthcare field. Currently, I am in Chicago. I just left Michigan this morning and flew into Chicago. So I will be here for um, a day or two, just depending on the patient load. As of right now, um, they have us here until Friday. But um, Friday wasn't filling up as much as they thought it would. So if it doesn't, then after we see our patients tomorrow, they're going to go ahead and send us home. So, before we get started, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a nice little room tour. So, this is the entryway to the room. Super, super cute. I do love the fact that they book our own rooms. Even though right now I'm still in training, I do have a partner with me, but they still give us our own rooms. But this is the bathroom. Hello. Please excuse the way I look. We will get to that in a moment. I love the shower, the mirror again, the lighting is bomb. Then you turn here, there is a full length mirror. So you can test yourself out. Then we'll come here. I do have a microwave, coffee tea maker. And then of course, they do have a refrigerator with your coffee mugs, tea mugs and things there. So super, super cute. And then you enter into, ooh, sorry, main area, king size bed, lamp, little small sitting area. You have your flat screen TV with drawers here. And then there's a little office space here with a nice little chair. So, and as you can see out the window, it is starting to rain. So yes, I'm glad I checked in when I checked in. So that is the room tour. Okay, y'all, I am back. That was the room tour. Like I said, I am currently in Chicago. So this is my first official time like actually in, in Chicago. I always come through here for like a layover so I never leave the airport. <laughs> but this is my first time actually in Chicago. And from what I've seen so far, it's so pretty. At least, like, on the side of town we're in. It's so pretty out here. Um, okay. So. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> People always want to know how it is to be a travel nurse, you know, a travel phlebotomist, a travel medical assistant, a travel anything that has to do with the healthcare field. How do you know? If you have gone back to look at my last few videos, I was doing training for two weeks in San Antonio. So I finished my training up in San Antonio. I went back home Friday afternoon, and then I had all day Saturday and all day Sunday home, and then I was right back on Monday. So what they do is with this job, um, because of the contracts that we deal with, they wanna make sure that you are thoroughly trained and that you know what you're doing since this um, does deal with government contracts. Like everything has to be like top tier A1. So, <laughs> I left Atlanta on Monday afternoon at like three something. So the person that they had me training with, because like even though we went through training for the two weeks, you still have to like travel on the road and they pair you with a senior person. So, the person that they paired me with, which is so crazy, because many of you may or may not know, but originally I'm from Columbus, Ohio, and I moved to Georgia about nine years ago. So anyway, the person they paired me with, she's actually from Ohio. And depending on where you live, they kind of break you up in sections. So I'm considered Southeast since I live in Georgia. But because um, the trainer, who's also my lead supervisor, whatever, um, 
she was trying to match people up on her team with people who's on her team and then you know the same for the other girls like whatever your region is we want to you know match you up with a senior or you know a senior person on your team so just so happens the person she put me with she's absolutely amazing she is so sweet and we have so much in common like we've been talking to each other like we've known each other for years and we literally just met monday night <laughs> but I mean, with both of us being from Columbus, and we, you know, we know a lot of the same things, and then her still living there, she's been able to tell me, like, what's changed, what's still there, what's not, things like that. So, long story short, can I tell y'all, I left my house Monday with two carry-on bags. Tell me why I have been gone from my house for three days, and I only have one bag. <laughs> Now, in no way, shape, or form do I aim to bash anybody. No, F that. Yes, I do. Because let me tell you something. I had two carry-on bags purposely to carry on bags so I wouldn't have to check a bag. Okay? So when I get to Delta, mind you, I've never had an issue with Delta. Never, ever, ever. My top three airlines are Delta, American, and Southwest. Like, those are the three, the main ones that I fly. Period. Those are where all my sky miles are from. Credit card, like, them three. Those are my top three. Especially Delta, because I live in Atlanta. The home base is in Atlanta. So it just makes sense. You get better flights. Especially for the places I usually go to. Most of them are, like, nonstop. That's why I love Delta. Same with American. They have a huge hub there. So a lot of the times I can just go straight to, get what, get a decent flight, straight to, nonstop, boom. Southwest, the same thing. Not based there, great hub there. So I'm usually getting good deals and flights. Most of them are straight through. Don't have to worry about a layover. I get to my gate, we're getting on board. Ma'am, you're gonna have to check one of those bags. What? You're gonna have to check one of those bags. There's there's not a lot of space overhead. Now mind you, I'm like in the main zoning area. So by this time, they've only loaded up those needing assistance. Diamond, first class, and you know, military. Four. There was not a lot of people who went in those four call ups. I'm in the main one loading crew. There was only like maybe not even 10 people ahead of me. How is the overheads full already? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. Everybody's going to have to check at least one bag if they have more than one from this point on. So in my mind, I'm like, you know what? Those never done me wrong. I'm not going to worry about it. I had to do this before my bag gets to where it needs to get to. Cool. Okay. Well, let me check my bag that doesn't have my work stuff in it because the main thing they told us if you ever get to the door and you have to check a bag do not check your work bag because it may be a time where you don't get your bag and if you going on an assignment the one thing you're going to need is your bag for your assignment because you can always buy clothes you can always buy toiletries you can always buy food you can always buy shoes etc you can't buy another laptop <laughs> You can't buy another, you know what I'm saying? So, okay. Boom. I checked my duffel bag with my, my, my clothes and stuff in it. Boom. Got it. So then, I get the update with Delta. Your bag's been checked. It's been loaded on to blah, 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 blah. Cool. I had a layover in Chicago. So from Delta, from Atlanta to Chicago, 
I only flew Delta from Atlanta to Chicago. Now, mind you, I still had to get to Michigan. So, Delta didn't go to the part of Michigan I needed to go to. So, I had to switch over to United. So, Delta updated me. You can pick your bag up at Carousel, da 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 once I got to Chicago. But in my head, I'm like, well, they told me that it's going to go all the way through to my final destination. I wasn't at my final destination yet. But just to make sure, I stopped with the United rep. I said, hi. I just want to make sure I had to check my bag with Delta before I got on the plane in Atlanta. This is the ticket they gave me. I just want to make sure, do I need to go pick it up off the carousel now since I'm switching over to United? Or are they going to transfer it to United to get to my final destination, which is in Michigan? He looked at the ticket and showed me, see where it says that city right there? That's where it's going to end up at. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm positive. Okay. Went on about my business. By this time, it was late. It was about dinner time. Let me grab me something to eat because I know by the time I get to where I'm getting to, ain't shit going to be open. And I know we out in Boondock. So, <sighs> literally got there literally in enough time to go to the bathroom, get something to eat, sit down, eat it, drink my water, load up, and get on the last plane to go to Michigan. Because the Delta flight was pushed behind almost an hour. Actually, an hour and a half. So, so, I get to my final destination. I get to my final destination. And I'm just like, okay, cool. It's a little rinky-dink airport. You hear me? Like a little rinky-dink airport. So, I'm just like, oh, this ain't going to take long at all. Go in. They open up the little thing. Have all the bags there. I'm looking. Is this all the bags? Mm-hmm. Are you missing the bag? Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, I said, you sure that's all the bags? She said, yeah, that's everything. She said, I'll be around. Just go around to this corner here. I'll be over there. We can, you know, see what's going on. Get around there. She logs in. I give her my little ticket. She logs in. She's like, your bag is still in Atlanta. <laughs> Excuse me. And she's like, man, I'm so sorry. She's like, your bag is in Atlanta. They never loaded it. So mind you, my partner is outside because I text her like, hey, I'm getting ready to, you know, I'm boarding the flight to there now. She's like, okay, cool. I'll be there. It's only like a 20 minute drive from, you know, the airport to the hotel we were staying at. I'm like, okay, cool. By the time we got there, it's about 9.45. I was like, okay, we just landed. She was like, I'm outside and da-da-da-da. I was like, okay, let me just grab my bag, blah, blah, blah. So I get there, I'm like, they can't find my other bag. And she's like, oh, my God. She's like, just stay calm. File a client. I said, that's what I'm doing right now. I'll be out there as soon as I can. She said, no worries. I'm, I'm sitting out front waiting. File the claim. Give them the address to the hotel I'm staying at. She's like, well, I, I'll send a message. I told them to load it in the first plane from Atlanta. To um, here, she's like, we can have it, if it gets on that plane, we can have it delivered to your hotel by, you know, between noon and two. If not, and it's any time after that time, it'll be on the last flight, and it'll be about 9, 45, 10 o'clock, and you will have to come pick it up. We can't have it delivered. I said, that's fine. I said, well, y'all call me. She said, uh, she said, we will call you and keep checking, though, because sometimes they update it and sometimes they don't, but keep checking. Okay, cool. Get up the next, well, had to go thank god there was a Walmart, literally a walmart right across from the hotel so the lord must have knew what he was doing <laughs> literally right across from the hotel so i had to go get some scrubs get some undergarment you know everything i needed get up the next morning we go see our patients by the time we come back it's like no bag nothing nothing's there so we having a little time I was like let me call them kept trying to do with United it wasn't update nothing they kept saying nothing is found nothing is found nothing is found so I go with Delta I'm on the phone with them on hold for an hour and a half now mind you I ain't got no charger like all of my stuff that I need my medicine like my allergy medicines all that stuff that I need is in that bag that I do not have. Luckily, I had my battery charger pack, like my little spare thing. 
but it wasn't charged all the way. So I'm having to switch. Now, mind you, I have my personal phone and my work phone. So I'm using the bank to try and keep both phone charges. I didn't even realize because I thought I had a block and a charger in my purse because I usually take two with me plus my charger pack just in case. And I thought I had the the wire to charge my pack because I'm like, well, at least if I charge my pack, I can put both phones on the pack and all three of them can charge at the same time. Or I could put at least one on there and then charge the other one through my laptop or something, you know. So I was like, let me get on the phone with them. Call them, call them. Finally got a rep. I said, well, look, I'm only here in Michigan for one day. I'm literally flying back to Chicago tomorrow morning. Can y'all just hold my bag there and baggage claim? And when I disembark, because I'll be in Chicago for a few days, I'll just come to baggage claim and pick the bag up. She said, oh, yeah, that would be a problem. Give me one second. Let me get somebody on the line so I can tell them to hold your bag. I was on the line while she did that for like another 20 minutes. She got back on the line. She said, okay, I spoke to somebody. They're going to hold your bag. It's going to be, and um, they're just going to keep it at the Delta thing, blah, blah, blah. Cool. I was like, okay, cool. I was like, I ain't going to worry about it. You know, I'm just going to put on what I traveled in because I literally just traveled in it. By the time I got, like, whatever. You you just got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Because me in my head thinking I would have my bag by noon, I didn't think to buy any other, like, kick around, hang around clothes in. I just got something to sleep in, some more underclothes, and some scraps for the day. I wasn't thinking, you know, I thought I'd have my stuff. We get here today. I go to Delta. Honey, they looking, 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 and they like, we don't see nothing. We see the notes. We see when you spoke to somebody. And the one lady was like, well, what time did you call? And I said, well, it was like about 12 o'clock yesterday. She was like, well, I was here till 7. I said, well, I, well, I, said, well, I called the customer service line and got someone. And then they personally called someone here. And spoke to someone she didn't tell me who she spoke to she just told me she knows they did the count she spoke to someone and they were going to save it and she was like well yeah there was a there was two other ladies working with me so she probably got one of them she was like because i know that don't even sound familiar to me she's like i'm so sorry i said not a problem so i was like they trying to figure it out my homegirl she done went to go get the rental car i said well you go handle that i said well how can i get to get united's baggage claim maybe it's down there maybe they just moved it down there since they saw I was flying back on United. She was like, well, if you go out these doors and you walk down, it's the next but it's the next building down. So it was literally like a block up. And I'm like, okay, cool. Not well, it seemed like a block. Get up there, talk to the lady there. She said, Your bag left this morning going to Michigan. I said, why didn't nobody call me and tell me? Like, why didn't nobody call me and tell me? Because, first of all, the area we were in Michigan is so small, they literally only have two flights per day coming in and out of there. So literally, the flight that I just got on to get here was the flight that had came in because mind you they pushed our flight back twice this morning we were supposed to leave at like 8 25 this morning we didn't even leave till 9 45 because the flight was late due to weather so you need to tell me the flight i just sat and waited for them to unboard and wait for the crew to rest and then reboard so we can get on and come here. You mean to tell me my bag was on that flipping flight and y'all didn't even tell me? Cause if that was the case, I could have went, I could have asked the people at the desk, like, hey, I think the bag was just delivered here. Can you check for me? And I wouldn't have to be worried about none of this. She said, ma'am, I'm so sorry. She was like, I am so sorry. She was like, well, how many days are you here in Chicago? Um, possibly only just one. I might just be leaving right back out tomorrow after my clients if, if the next day don't fill up. 
And she's just like, and I can't even give you a promise that, you know, it would, I said, I know. <laughs> That's why I'm just like, why? First of all, why didn't nobody pay attention to the notes? Second of all, why ain't y'all tell me like, hey, it left on a flight this morning. Y'all, I'm about to say, then y'all not even updating your system. I'm still getting into United, trying to look to see where my freaking bag is. It's still saying it's in Delta's baggage claim area. So that's why I was just like, oh, I know it just has to be here. No. My bag is in damn Michigan and I'm here in damn Chicago. So guess who had to go buy some more scrubs, <laughs> some more undergarments, some more socks. And then here's the kicker. So the company who books our reservations, they had my partner booked here. They had me booked 30, 40 minutes away. Por qué? Why? Why are you not paying attention to stuff? And that's just, that's just like on Monday when we were flying out, she flew out first thing in the morning. So she texted me at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock like, hey, I'm here. I'm at the rental car place. I'm thinking in my head like, well, shit, did I miss my damn flight? Like, did they change my shit and I didn't realize it? I'm like, no, because Delta just told me. Like, <laughs> like, Delta just sent me a notification. Like, I keep my notifications on just for that purpose. So if it's a delay, if it's something, I know what it is. If a gate change, it pops up. It texts me, and it pops up in the app. I'm like, uh, yeah. So my flight don't leave till 325 this afternoon. She was like, wait, what? <laughs> when I tell you this first assignment out has been hell, I have been without clothes for three days. <laughs> like I wasn't, like, I'm not even gonna say I wasn't able to enjoy Michigan. We actually did get to enjoy Michigan yesterday. Cause I was like, I said, y'all gonna get these scrub bottoms and I'm gonna put on this, uh, I had another little bodysuit like this, but it was um, black. I said, y'all gonna get this bodysuit. And I know it's a little chilly out here, but oh well. This is what all this extra thickness is for. We're gonna keep it warm. Cause baby, I'm gonna see me some sights, okay? Y'all got me all the way up. That been just like today? <laughs> oh, I'm, <sighs> I said all that to say, for all my travelers out there, especially now with it being so short staffed, People not doing the things that they're supposed to do. You know, you're trying to be smart and just pack only carry-ons. Make sure that you have a backup of at least, you know, uh, scrubs, something to sleep in, and some kick it clothes. Like, in the, in one of your other carry-on bags. Because, and it, and it, it, it pisses me off because usually I'm that type of person. I just think between finals and then being nervous about coming out for my first day and then not knowing who they were gonna put me with, cause all that just threw my usual game off. Like literally just, and my thing is I almost wore flip flops, <laughs> like sandals when I flew out on Friday. And literally at the last minute as I was walking out my door, I was like, no, nah, let me just throw on my casual little tennis shoes and some socks. Had I came down here in sandals, I would have had to buy some brand. I would have had to buy some fucking shoes. <laughs> like that's just how. Like you just have to really think about stuff like that. Like you really have to be cognizant in how you pack and and really strategize. I can't stress that enough. And also, have you some rainy day money on the side, like for emergencies. Like even like for my company, yeah, they book and pay for everything, like our hotel, our rental car. You know stuff like that and we you know we, luckily we do get a business card but we can't use business cards to get like clothes and stuff like that but for this instance which i didn't know till after i spent my own money i just had to get the okay nobody explained that to me so those are questions that i want you guys to make sure you ask if a, a, if an instance comes up and a bag is missing you got to go get new scrubs and stuff can i use my corporate card will you reimburse me for those fees like you you know what i'm saying and also make sure because as soon as I get down here, I'm calling Delta and United. Because both of y'all finna give me a credit for making me not have no clothes for three days. Both of y'all. Delta and United. Trust me. File a complaint with both of them. Or if you just don't want airline, make sure you file that complaint. Because even the lady at United was like, you make sure you call United. She said, matter of fact, you call both of them. Because that's on both of them. And she said, depending on how, many, how much credit they give you per day, then that's what it is. 
She said it can be anywhere from $100, it can be up to $300, whatever. But you make sure you call both of them and you file a complaint because that's absolutely ridiculous. So I say all that to say, just make sure you have a backup. Listen to that intuition. I didn't listen to mine like I usually do and now I'm paying for it. But luckily I have a partner who's been very understanding. She's been helpful. Like, I, like the first day I literally was about to just cry because I was like, I'm tired, I'm over it, I'm hot. Y'all know I'm husky, I ain't no small girl. And you're like a lot for me to be walking around, dragging stuff up and down here, going to And then on top of that, I ain't got no clothes. <laughs> All I wanna do is just go to my room, take a hot shower, and just go to sleep. <laughs> but now I gotta spend an extra 30, 45 minutes going to Walmart and rebuying stuff that I already had. So, I've learned my lesson. I would definitely always have an extra pair in my work bag. An extra pair or two, you know what I'm saying? And then you just got to make sure you, you, you know, it is what it is. But despite all that, I'm still enjoying myself. Like I said, it's a lesson learned. And like my, you know, my trainer was telling me, like, I'm glad it happened now so you can get a feel for the things that can happen out in the field. And even she told me, she was like, you're handling like a pro. She was like, I've seen it happen to other people and they just completely break down. They're ready to go home. <laughs> like, they're just, they're just over it. She was like, but you have taken it like a champ, like a grain of salt. You still managed to enjoy yourself and you just went on with the flow. So she was like, I commend you and I salute you on that. But I just had to stop by and just share, you know, some of the mishaps that can happen. I know a lot of people look into travel nursing and, you know, just traveling healthcare jobs in general. And this is just some of the things that, you know, you may or may not hear about. And like I said, it's really bad now just because people are so short staffed and, you know, with the whole pandemic thing still, you know, lingering on and people being funny about, you know, masking optional now and all that kind of thing. And just to let you know, honey, I kept mine on. <laughs> FYI. And I'm vaccinated and boosted. And I'm still keeping mine on because you ain't finna, nah, absolutely not. You ain't finna get me. Think what you want. That's my own personal feelings, my own personal thoughts. So, but <laughs> I hope y'all are doing well. This is just I guess you could say a traveling story time, <laughs> but make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Tell me some of your traveling stories within the last few months to a year. Like this has unfortunately been going on for a while. It's just been getting worse here lately, but make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come and be a part of our gang. I am Miranda Marie and until next time, bye.